Hello. Today I want to talk about Santorio Santorio, the Venetian physician and associate of Galileo, who is one of the less well-known names of the scientific revolution. Santorio's father, Antonio Santorio, was a nobleman from Friuli in the service of the Venetian Republic. His mother was from a noble family in what is now the Slovenian port city of Copa, but was then the capital of Venetian Istria, where Santorio was born in 1561. He was educated in Copa and later in Venice before entering the University of Padua in 1575, qualifying as a physician in 1582. He was then aged 21. He later spent over a decade serving as personal physician to a Croatian nobleman before setting up a medical practice in Venice in 1599. In Venice he became part of the circle of learned men that included his near contemporary Galileo Galilei. Appointed to the chair of theoretical medicine at the University of Padua in 1611, Santorio taught there until his retirement in 1624. He spent the remainder of his life in Venice, dying in 1636. In treating his patients, Santorio largely followed what was then traditional practice, based on the received wisdom of the ancient teachers, Hippocrates and Galen, with the idea of health being based on the balance of the body fluids, the humours. But he also undertook his own research, in which he placed primary reliance on empirical evidence and the use of reasoning rather than traditional authority, thus acting as one of the pioneers of modern science. In common with others in his scientific circle, Santorio saw the fundamental properties of things as being such measurable qualities as size, number, position and form. This was a radical departure from the traditional ideas of Aristotle and Galen, for whom it was the essence of a thing that was important, rather than such accidental physical properties. What made an apple an apple, or a liver a liver? Again, for Santorio, the key metaphor for understanding nature was mechanical, rather than the organic metaphor that was central to both Aristotelian natural philosophy and Galenic medicine. Thus, he saw the body as being like a clock, in which the workings were determined by the shapes and positions of its interlocking parts. He is most famous for his experiments on the weight and metabolism of the body, for this, he devised a metabolic balance, placing himself on a platform suspended from an arm of a large balance, which enabled him to make accurate measurements of changes in his own body weight. He also weighed all his solid and liquid intakes and excretions, finding that what he consumed was far heavier in weight than what he excreted. We now know that this difference is accounted for by the expenditure of energy, but Santorio hypothesized that the greatest part of the food he took in was lost from the body through what he called insensible perspiration. He published his findings in a short book entitled De Statica Medicina, Concerning Static Medicine, which made him famous throughout Europe. In some instances, probably in consultation with Galileo, Santorio was also famous for a number of other inventions, whereby he was able to measure physical phenomena. These included using a pendulum to measure the human pulse rate and an early version of what later became the thermometer. Outside of medicine, he invented a wind gauge and a meter for measuring a current of water. Thank you for listening.